Welcome brothers and sisters, welcome to another video of Triple Grace. My name is Michael, I'm the founder of Triple Grace and the Righteous Path Movement Foundation. And the topic of this video is the stone of sin. At the time when the Pharisee tried to trick our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ to throw the stone against the adulterous woman, they did not know that they were, in fact, fulfilling Daniel's vision about the stone that will be sent against the statue of Nebuchadnezzar. It is that stone of sin that will come down now and that will destroy the old world order so that a new world order then later can rise. But first it will be destroyed. Why? Because when heaven will merge with the earth, then sin will be pushed out. Just imagine two circles. And now you take one circle and you push it over the other one. You see that the circle that comes over the other one will take the space of the, the circle that is under. And it, if the first, stone, uh, first cycle that comes over the, the second one is the heaven, and the second one is the earth, then you can see that more and more glory, more and more sinless situation will come over the earth and that sin will be pushed out. And that is exactly what will happen once the portal in heaven will open and once the light of the world will return to the world. It is all to prepare the world, not only for the millennium kingdom, but for the new heaven and new earth at the end. Everything you can read in the book of Revelation. At the end, when you have a new heaven and new earth, then all the sin was pushed out. And it all will begin with that stone. And when you go to Daniel, then you see that it is a small stone that will come to destroy the statue of Nebuchadnezzar, the old world order. And then, this stone will grow into a mountain. Everyone who reads this passage will always ask, what kind of mountain? That is Mount Zion. When Jesus will return at the end of seals for the rapture of the church with Mount Zion, with paradise, and then the rest of the lamp and the rest of the one who sits on the throne will come in effect. It will all start with a stone. And the only one who can throw that stone is the one without sin. And that is Jesus Christ himself. And that picture with the Pharisees also tells us that there, at that moment of this stone throw, there is an adulterous woman involved. Who is that? The bride. Jesus is coming to forgive her, to forgive the bride so that she can be sinless also and can go into the third heaven with the little ones or continue to serve here on earth in the harvest. It is all about sin. And that's the reason why the first war is not the war against the mountain or the war at Armageddon. It is the war against sin, the destruction of the old, so that the new can begin. It is all a time of change for all of us. That the transformation will change us from our old situation into something new, strong and useful, so that we can run the final race to Mount Zion and that we can then be raptured into paradise and to be with the Father, Son and Holy Spirit in everlasting time. Let the stone be thrown by Jesus now. He will come for 40 days of repentance, and that is a stone throw. Telling you, you better watch out, something worse is coming now onto the earth. The tribulations will begin. Repent now and return to the kingdom. There is still time, but not much. A few days, a few weeks, June is at the doorstep. Let him without sin throw the first stone. Come, Lord Jesus, come. It is your time to rescue and take the bride and all those women and then to throw the stone. 
not against the woman, but against the one who has made the false accusation and have said that even God cannot forgive that adulterous woman. The Pharisees, that Pharisees, they are representing the old world order that will be destroyed. The stone will be turned against them, not against the woman. Brothers and sisters, when you understand this, then you know why Daniel spoke about that stone that came and destroyed the statue. And then it goes to a mountain, Mount Zion with paradise. And then trumpets will start. Brothers and sisters, this is all in the scripture and will all be fulfilled. It is important to know that once the heaven will return to the earth, once the light of the world will come back, then the war of sin will start because sin will be pushed out. It's a process. It's not done in a second. It's a process. It will move over, 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 even over the Millennium Kingdom. The Millennium Kingdom is not the end of the pushing out of the sin. The completely pushed out of the sin is after the white throne judgment. After everyone was judged, everything is done, and then a whole new world and whole new earth will be created. Then this stone has fulfilled its work, first as a small stone, then as a mountain, and then as that powerful one who comes feet down on the Mount of Olives to establish a millennium kingdom. It is Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior, and our bridegroom. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Brothers and sisters, be blessed in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen and Amen. Maranatha.